Sir, have you heard we have so much to catch up on and only a few minutes to do it? Looks like Moonsamas will be equipable in a dedicated slot on Exos as these cute little plushies, which will be available as physical stuffies along with Exosama waifu pillows. Ew. And I think more hints of the shared item economy between all three games in the making. The Dead Pirate Society and Kitty Paradise holders have been greenlit to join the Moon Samaverse, with Exo designer Luigi's two collections seemingly on the way. Fallow World X Gen avatars have at last been revealed, and I've just never felt so seen. And that Skylab Corporation we covered five or six weeks ago? Well, they are now part of the Fallow World story. Remark 1 to 2 migrations are undergoing final tests, and the Moonglade seed pouches are now on sale, running as a Dutch auction with prices decreasing 2.2 KSM every 420 minutes. These seeds are represented by saplings planted in the real world and will later be represented by this stellar art from Mashiverse as it thrives or a spirit tree if it doesn't make it. No confirmation that these will have a function in Sky Breach, but you have to get the details Details on this project from another exceptional video from the guys at Alpha Airdrop. Today I was gifted this custom beauty from the Burrows of Chaos, just wanted to show it off, and Apes in Art dropped all holders this gorgeous banana. Nice. And Subwallet has begun minting their Serpinator NFTs, and look at this, the Tirana versions are mint 6 through 10, winners of that competition will receive their Cobras soon. On the governance participation rewards front, it has been stated that NFTs will only be handed out to those who vote with at least 0.2 KSM on Referendum 182, the one about getting Jam to register his identity, less than two days left to vote. Houses of Rome showing off this new blacksmith shot, an updated plan on their tokenomics 2.0, and... <laughs> Parity announcing that they are on top of the block time degradation problem and are working on optimizations while asynchronous backing is completed skirting the issue. More parachains will likely make the problem worse, however, so a reduced auction schedule is now being considered. It turns out Parachain 2003 was Karura, who renewed their lease in the previous auction, Turing blasting off in this one, 5% referral bonus still below, and Pichu now offering a 250 Pichu per KSM bonus if they get to 10,000 KSM before the start of the next auction. And it looks like Invarch's Tinker Chain is also getting ready to fly. They have a huge education series rolling out, which I hope to share more with you next week. Subsocial has begun handing out the tokens from their community sale. You can check them at sub.id. They appear to be hitting the market soon, and their new roadmap includes a Dotsama domain service, free transactions, and voting in polls on their web app. Edgeware's new roadmap includes full EVM compatibility, followed by bridging to other networks and the launch of DeFi primitives, as well as that Kabocha crowdloan launch and their own nested relay chain. Basilisk is organizing a four-day conference and hack event in Amsterdam starting next month on 420. We'll have them on Space Monkey soon to tell us more about that. Pontum seems to be ramping up again after the collapse of Diem. They're trying to build an ambassador program and have announced a partnership with Aptos, the project started by many who were working on Diem. Baba Fedador has released this article describing what a good just-in-time liquidity bot would act like. Make sure you check it out if you want to keep a few on the leash. Mangata and Talisman is looking like a go, and they also have 1,000 USD up for grabs in a new meme competition. Details will be in their next Mangata Monday, now at a new time. Shidden is getting into audio NFTs in partnership with Riot Music's Revolt 2022 event, which is... Ah! More waifus! But hey, if you want to keep up on the Shidden Star ecosystem, use the link below to subscribe to Dr. Preposterous, who's doing an excellent series interviewing the founders of top dApps in the network. They're very short, and he does a phenomenal job. Check it out. 
Ty KSM has launched and is ready to swap on Karura. And the team has launched a $250 million AUSD growth fund for projects that drive the growth of AUSD. And it looks like it will now be integrated into Zeitgeist, and it was also on that subsocial roadmap from before. But the real money has finally arrived on Kusama. KBTC can now be minted on the Kintsugi app and will soon find usefulness on Karura and Moon River. Thanks in part to a vote on Open Square, where 30 voters contributed to the important decision to open a channel with Karura. This was the highest participation on an Open Square vote until now. We put it up to Toronto holders this week, asking if they thought Toronto Coin should undergo a logo redesign. A shocking 32 of our holders participated, and in the end, 64.3% of the vote demanded the preservation of awesomeness, and so it shall remain. Just another feather in the cap of the storied history of this iconic token, more of which I encourage you to explore in this deep dive on Toronto mythology by WEG historian PJS. Finally, our guy Rich Valentino has released his final single ahead of the full album coming soon, but I'm gonna play you the release from last week called Fell in Love because it's how I feel about you more and more every day. Thanks for all the well wishes and sorry we missed a day this week, but if you didn't catch yesterday's episode, please do and see what the new team behind this channel can do on extremely short notice. Please stay tuned for our video proposal to continue funding our efforts to capture Dotsama in easy to digest videos for you all. And sir, we'll be back again next week to keep this ball rolling. Have a great weekend, everybody.